A security guard stands watch outside the Bank of America branch on Covington Highway. He's the epitome of intimidation, all the way down to the gun on his hip. But as the I-team discovered, he's also part of a dangerous lie, courtesy of a company called OSHA, OSHA Security, OSHA. OSHA, not the federal agency, but a private security company in DeKalb County. The I-team met armed OSHA officers all over Metro Atlanta, contracted to guard banks, major grocery stores, even the DFAX office on Bankhead Highway. But according to the state, not one of these security guards has any business carrying a gun. To be an armed security guard in Georgia, you first have to pass a firearms test. You have to take a training course, and you have to undergo a thorough criminal background check, plus be licensed by the Secretary of State's office. But time and time again, the I-team caught OSHA lying its way around the rules, breaking the law, and putting you in danger. I thought they were crooked. I thought they were doing something illegal. Mary Baker carried a gun for OSHA last fall. She says she didn't realize she needed a state license until OSHA's president called her into the office and gave her this, a fake ID with the name of another OSHA guard who is licensed to carry a gun. So you went to work not as Mary Baker, but as Latasha Hayes? Correct. Even though there was, this was your picture on that the ID? Not. Yes. Is there really a Latasha Hayes out there? If she does still work for the company, I'm sure she's unaware that they're using her name. Mary Baker says OSHA also gave her this, a certificate showing she had passed the in-house training and shooting range tests. It's signed by her boss, Obra Hogan's, also an approved state firearms instructor. Only trouble, the date on here is actually three days before Mary Baker says she was hired. She says she never took any test or got any training, yet OSHA still assigned her to carry a gun. In order for them to avoid doing that and just keep hurting people in without going through the training, they dummy up all these certificates. She says she quit the same week she got the fake certificate and IDs. A situation like this which has occurred is absolute fraud. GBI state Director Vernon Keenan also sits on the state board uh, that licenses security line. guards. Having unlicensed um, armed persons guarding a facility is uh, inherently dangerous. Are you suggesting this company is putting the public at risk? There's no question about it. Some told us their real names, like Ernest Thomas. We found him guarding this Publix on Delk Road with a 9 millimeter handgun, he says, OSHA gave him. They'll give you a weapon you don't have to worry about? Yeah, they give you that too. Okay. Is that yours or is that there? It's there. That's there. What is that? It looks like a 9 of some sort. It is a 9. See, my, mine got stolen. Then there was this OSHA guard standing watch outside a Bank of America branch. And what was your name? I'm sorry. James. James, thank you so much. When we chatted with him undercover, James Slaughter had no trouble telling us his real name. But watch what happened when I showed up to ask some questions. Do you have a state license to carry that gun as a security guard? Yes, you do. Do you have one? Yeah, why? Well, well, what is your name, sir? Molette. Molette? Yes. What, can I see your card, please? Your name is, how do you pronounce your first name? Nebu Molet. Nebu? Nebu Molet. This is the real Molet, Nawab Molet, who was licensed to carry a gun for OSHA. A few days later, the pretend Molet decided to come clean. What is your name? James Slaughter. Why didn't you tell me that originally? They said to me, if anybody comes on the post, you have to show them that ID. He and Mary Baker say the fake IDs came from these two men, office manager Dwayne Keith Garrett and OSHA president Obra Hogan's. Originally, Hogan's told us another employee was to blame, but never provided us any evidence. Mr. Garrett. Rather than answering our questions, office manager Garrett bolted for the building. Sir, I want to know why you're putting people out on the street and giving them guns when the state says they have no business carrying them as security guards. Can you answer those questions, sir? James Slaughter knew the answer. That's why he quit. Don't give them a phony ID card and tell them, hey, I'm going to write, you know, that you pass, or I'm going to give you a certificate. Be real with it, you know, you're just making yourself worse. 